Hey, welcome to Cruising on 7. We're at a and w and we're going to go for a cruise ride today. And I've got Jerry and Arlene Moore, and they've got a Mustang. Tell us a little bit about your car. It's your car, isn't it, Arlene? <laughs> yeah, it's in my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your name? Well, that was nice. Uh, yeah. That's good. Tell her the story. <laughs> Tell the story. <laughs> well, I had a red Mustang, and it was a standard so I wouldn't drive it, so he bought me this one. There's a 96. 96 Mustang. What has it got in it? What have you got it's in it? It's got the 4.3 uh, GT motor. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, Arlene, are you driving this car now? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're out in the country, do you have to drive this on gravel to get it? Yeah, I just, oh. I just finished dusting it. Well, I never did a very good job, but... Well, actually, it looks pretty good. How long do you drive on gravel? Seven clicks. Seven clicks, okay. So just enough to get it dirty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the car. Where did you guys find the car? Uh, I got it from uh, Adrian uh, Dennis from uh, Bennett. Okay. He He's originally... He had originally sold the car to the original owner. Okay. And the original owner had apparently had passed. Oh. Okay. So the wife went to Adrian and asked, "What should I do with this car?" And he says, "Well, I'll buy it back from you." Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So he bought it back for his wife. Oh, okay. And she wouldn't drive it because she had one of these little fast uh, fusions, a GT Fusion or some darn thing. Oh, and she so, liked it better than yeah, the Mustang. Yeah, well, yeah. So I, I found out about it, and uh, I said, well, that's the ideal car for her. Oh, fantastic. So how long have you had it, Arlene? Last, last o- year we bought it. Over a year. Just over, over a year. A year. Yeah. Just over a year. And ago. black is the right color for the country. It never shows any marks <laughs> at all. <laughs> black on black, yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, it looks pretty darn good. You got it through the gravel there, and it's yeah. all dusted up and everything. It only has 22K on it. 22K? 22,000K. Oh, my God. So tell us a little bit else about the car. What else has it got in? Well, it's, it's fully loaded. It's got everything. Uh, power steering, power brakes, the whole nine yards. Oh, my gosh. Hey, yeah. there we got a tricycle. They even got reverse. That's got everything going for it. Well, that's a beautiful-looking car. Black is the right color. And you, you're keeping it spotless. I can't believe it. Well, I have, we have three black vehicles. We got this, the 34 Ford that is all black, which you've oh, seen before. Oh yes, yes, yes. And also, I have a Dodge truck. Oh my uh, God! All black, black. So on do you black. spend your days washing, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Especially after you do the 7K there and yeah, then the 7K yeah. back. Is there a car wash close by? <laughs> I have one in my backyard where I have a 1,250 gallon tank of water, and I have my pressure washer and. I'm washing all the time, it seems. (laughs) (laughs) So we're here with Ken and Joy Cress, and you've got a Cougar 1967. 67 with a 289 in it? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your car. Well, actually, I found it in New Brunswick. I had it shipped from New Brunswick all the way to uh, Saskatchewan. Yeah. Who did the shipping for you? Uh, Legacy uh, Shipping. Is that is that a hard thing to do? Uh, I've never done that myself. I've driven them, but never had. Yeah, it was actually pretty easy. I had it. They arranged the pickup and everything, and brought it right here. It took about a week to get here, so it wasn't too bad. So, Joey, you're okay with him buying this car? Is this a a his and hers car? (laughs) Yes, I'm okay with it. I'm quite happy for him. So what have we got here? we got a 289 Cougar, and this is the XR... XR7. XR7. Yeah. So this is kind of the top of the line then, isn't it? Yeah, there was a GT model after that with the 390 in it, but uh, this one has a four-speed manual transmission also. Oh, does it? And uh, a, lot of, a lot of them were automatics in the Cougar, so, but with the four-speed manual, it's a little bit more rare. So what's the history of it out in New Brunswick? What well, was it, doing it out actually there? was a BC car. It was in <laughs> These British. cars move all over the <laughs> yeah, country. It was originated in BC, then it was <clears throat> bought and taken to Ontario and restored there in, in re- Ontario from top to bottom. It was totally restored. Oh, so it was a total restoration in Ontario. Total restoration in Ontario, and then a guy in New Brunswick brought it, bought it, and I bought it off of him. So where did you find it on eBay? Or Kij- did you- Kijiji. Kijiji, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So just walk us through this. So you liked the car yeah. and you wanted to buy it for it. Did you go out and see it? No, I didn't. <laughs> you I, didn't? No, he sent pictures and videos and we talked lots on the phone and yeah. It was so. just here in... You just trusted him, huh? I trusted him. Yeah, he was a fellow about my age, too. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, okay. he, hey, this is from the days when you could actually open the car from the front, huh? Yeah, you didn't have to go outside. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So what do you got on there for carburation? That's a 650 uh, poly car. Oh, it's got and the Cougar on the... Is that natural? Is that from no, the factory? Or? No, that's not. Those are aftermarket. Yeah, yeah and the bar and all that stuff and everything. Oh, you got it nice and clean in there. Yeah. 
Well, it's clean, like underneath and everything. You know, it's good. interesting. The 289, though, is not a huge block. It's a small block, but yet they perform pretty darn good, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got a cam in it? Yeah. Ah, okay. Of course, you do all the speed limit. You've never had oh, it over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. My young days are gone. Uh, <laughs> I wonder, is that a Ford four speed transmission? Or? Yeah, it's uh, the top loader, they call it. The top what? Top loader. Top loader. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is one of their stronger transmissions. One of their stronger ones. Yeah. Okay. I see there's a little bit of uh, chrome uh, down at the bottom there. Kind of gives it a bit of look like a scoop behind the passenger door right at the rocker panel there. Yeah. What, what's that all about? Well, just... that came with, that was put on the car from factory. That was one okay. of just their little dress ups. Uh, a little the... dress up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, I like that. It says sniff, but don't touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about the wheels. What do we got on there for wheels? Well, well, actually, it came with different wheels on them. I just put these on. They came with outlaw wheels on it and uh, bigger tires. On the back, he had 10-inch uh, uh, wheels, and on the front, he had eight. And it was just didn't ride quite right with those. They okay. looked nice. Really, yeah. really made it look really tough. And, uh, but then I changed them. Uh, I know Jason at Fountain Tire on Victoria Avenue, he uh, did a real good job at picking, helping me pick out the tires and wheels. So, so what have you got there for rims? What those are, are what they call Magnum 500s, American Express Magnum 500. They're more stylish to the day in okay. the yeah, 60s. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they're kind of a, more of a retro kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what would have been on the XR7 when it came out of the factory? What do you think? Uh, this would have had uh, sort of the same uh, type of hubcap with uh, look close to the Magnum 500. It okay. was close okay. to that. Yeah. So. so do you get to drive the car? I cannot drive a standard. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, oh, well, yes. you, yeah, then you got to do all the driving. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It, you don't mind? It suits me fine. Suits yeah. you fine? Yeah. Oh, I'm, fantastic. I'm wonderful with well, him driving me around. <laughs> <laughs> well, chauffeuring. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful car, and uh, okay. I love Cougars. I had a Cougar XR7 convertible one time. Okay. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it was a great car. So we're here with Damon Pichette, and he's got a 2015 15 Mustang. 15. So tell us a bit about your car. Uh, it's a 2.3 liter turbo. Turbo? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. Track pack every option so when you say track pack what do you what do you mean by that uh, just so some people might know bigger gears bigger rims bigger brakes oh yeah gauges yeah. stuff like that yeah how big are those rims on there uh those are 20 inch rims 20 inch rims and where did you find your car um bennett oh you bought it at bennett okay yes i did so why a mustang for you um because they don't make new t-birds <laughs> would you bought a t-bird i i'm a t-bird fan really yeah oh cool but they stopped making them in 2005. Okay. Do you know the color of the car? What are they? Uh, this is called Guard Metallic Gray. Guard? Guard Metallic Gray. Metallic yeah. Gray. Okay. So tell us the specs on it a little bit. What you got for an engine and, and tranny and all that um, stuff? Um, yeah. 2.3 liter turbo, 310 horsepower, um, six speed paddle shift. Oh, paddle shift. Okay. Yeah. Nice interior, huh? Beautiful leather vinyl. They don't make them like they used to. Ah. Okay, the there they are there. You know. Do you find that fun? Is it good? Yeah, it's a quick little car. It's fun. Turns yeah. heads. Oh, that's good. Well, thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7. Yeah, no problem. So we're here with Jim Leskin. He's the secretary treasurer of the Ford Mercury Club. So tell us what's happening today, Jim. And I have not seen this car before. <laughs> Maybe I have and I kind of forgot about it. But Well, each year we do a spring and a fall cruise. Uh, because this year was such a weird year with COVID, uh, we decided to have our uh, fall cruise a little early. And we typically, we go through the uh, Coppell Valley with all the spring, uh, all the fall colors of the leaves. Uh, so this year, we're gonna go out to Lumsden by the old highway, out to Regina Beach, back to Craven, then on to Silton for supper. Oh, so, nice, where you got, Silton, what, what's out in Silton there? Uh, Dee's Place, we've had that recommended to us, so oh, okay. it's just a little joint out there. Yeah. Now this, good. this car. Let's talk about what you've got here. We usually see your 70 Fastback, isn't that what we usually see? Yes, yes. Well, this is a 2011 GT500. It's a decal delete, so it's a bit of a sleeper. If you don't pull up beside and see the Cobras, everybody thinks it's just a Mustang. It's got the track pack, so 19-inch rears, 20, uh, 
19 inch fronts, 20 inch rears, upgraded uh, brake package and suspension package. Uh, you know when things come and just fall in your lap at times? Well this, well this is a 2011 and we went out car shopping in 2013 with my son looking for a car for him. I spotted this and I thought, oh geez, you know, too much. <laughs> it was a reasonable price. Uh, two years old, had 2,500 kilometers on it. Ooh. So the uh, story apparently was is the guy up in Saskatoon bought it, scared himself, and traded in right away. So then the car had to be driven down to Regina to a dealership. There's 250 uh, kilometers on it, so one-tenth of the kilometers on it just on the trip down to Regina. So. Currently, I got about 50,000 K on it, had lots of fun. Oh, it's, you're driving this car then? Oh yeah, it's been to Calgary several times and uh, on the highway a bit, and it goes. How much horsepower we got in there? Uh, 2011 has 550. 550? <laughs> no yeah. wonder you got scared. Yeah, yeah, it gets up to 200 kilometers an hour pretty fast. Oh my goodness. Oh, you don't want it. you've never been there though, so we won't say that. No, <laughs> no, no. Let's pop the hood and have a look inside here and see what you got here. Oh, there we go. We got a bit of a blower on there. Yeah, supercharger. Yeah, a little dusty. See, it, it, it gets driven around the city. So we got, we've got. Is this all factory? The filter and, uh, and yeah, all it's that all stuff? factory. Yeah, the only thing that's changed is the uh, the uh, air filter. The stock ones are yellow. This is almost like a K and N yeah, style, but say. it's a dry. You don't put oil on these ones. Oh, you don't. Yeah. So really, what Ford did is they produced a hot rod right out of the factory, then 550 horsepower. Holy smokes! Yes, and then you go back up uh, 2013, 2014, and these were 662 horsepower. Holy dynamite! Yeah. Yeah, and then they went away from the GT500 for a couple of years. They came out with the GT350s, which are a natural aspirated engine. And now they're coming back with the uh, 2020 uh, GT500s that are in the neighborhood of the uh, northern 700 horsepower. 700 horsepower. Yeah. That's a lot of horsepower just to go get some milk at the grocery store. Yes, it's they're pretty fun though. Do you guys race these cars a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says Shelby on the inside, the sticker there. Yeah. That's a Shelby GT500. There it is, yeah. okay. So who puts that badge on? Ford puts that badge on or that Shelby? That is mine, that's mine. Oh, that's yours, okay. I had it registered with Shelby America, uh, so if you look at the uh, center dash, it's got the uh, VIN number with uh, Carol Shelby's uh, signature. Let's have a look inside here. Let's, let's crack that open and have a look in there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, look at that. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what's inside there, Jimmy. Uh, pretty much all stock. The only thing that I've had done is the uh, Shelby uh, Center Council plaque and uh, the shifter knob. That was a birthday gift from my wife and kids one year. Uh, the shifter knobs are typically just white, so I had to find one that was gray. Has the stripes. I couldn't find a decal delete uh, shifter knob. And then there's the uh, Shelby plaque with the VIN number, so it's registered at uh, Shelby America. So you got, uh, you know, we talk about, uh, you know, your wife did this, your wife did that. Is that your wife over there? <laughs> yes, that is Manju. A and the, the story behind this car is I promised her that I would drive this in the winter time. But yeah, this is your winter time car. Trying to find 20 inch winter tires is an impossible feat. Oh, uh, well, there you go. Thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7. Well, thank you very much. Okay, we're here with Mike Kyle. He's got an F-150 Ford truck, but there's a little more to it than that, isn't there? Well, it's, it's pretty stock. It's set up with a trailer package. I bought this truck for pulling my enclosed car trailer. Okay. And uh, It's got a Cobra sign on the side. Yeah. That's What's just, that all about? Well, it's got a 5-liter Coyote motor in it, which is uh, all the Mustangs have them, and it was an optional motor on these. Not quite as much horsepower as the uh, Mustang engine. They're set up for more torque for pulling. What do you got in there for horsepower? What do you think? It's, uh, well, they claim 395 horsepower. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So it pulls really well. Ten speed automatic. Ten speed. Ten yeah. speed automatic. Yeah, and uh, pulls my 24 foot enclosed trailer What's really the well. What's towing capacity on this truck? Uh, I think it's about 11.8. 11.8. Yeah. Oh, and your yeah. trailer is what about? Oh, uh, loaded about 8,500. Oh, so you're well under. So yeah, 11.8, well, yeah. you can pull just about I anything. Put, up. Yeah, I put some overload bags on the back just to help the rear suspension because it's light in the back with the aluminum box. What have you got on there for a cover? What did you do there? Well, that came with the truck. was part of the accessory package. It's just a tonneau cover and bed liner inside it and all. Okay. And uh, it's, it's a uh, XLT Sport model. Nice. So it's uh, yeah. black interior, which I like. It's not gray. So it's, yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's actually uh, well appointed for the 
for just a basic XLT. Yeah. It's got everything you need in it. Leave it open. We'll have a peek inside there. Yeah. yeah. And what year is this one? It's an 18. This is an 18. It's got about 17,000 kilometers on it. I don't drive it in the winter. Yeah. Just park it. So what's the color on that? Do you it's know? It's called lightning blue. Lightning blue. Yeah. Uh, it is bright. I love it though. Yeah, it's a I nice color. It. So we got it's a six-speed automatic transmission. Ten-speed. Ten-speed. Yeah. Holy smoke. Yeah, ten-speed. Do you feel automatic. it shifting through all those ten? What's that? Do you feel it as it's moving through? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. They've got it set up, and it's got different modes. It's got a Econo mode for the transmission. There's a sport mode. There's tow haul mode, and you can put it manually and shift it manually on a paddle shifter off the uh, console on the shifter. Oh, you're so kidding! So you want to hot dog a little bit, but wow. Uh, wow. it's not bad on gas either. Really? What are you getting? Do you know? Well, I got to be getting 22 all the time in the highway. Oh, that's pretty I get good. around hauling, 12. Not hauling. No, place. hauling, I get about 12, which yeah. is about all you can expect, you <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, once you're hauling here, it's a little different story. Nice uh, running boards on it, too. That That's cool. That's yeah, a beautiful I just, truck. Yeah, I just like the way they, uh, they had it set up. It, those Cobra snakes there, that's, uh, you'll find that on a Cobra Mustang. I just stuck them on because it's a five-liter truck. It doesn't say 5.0 oh, anywhere. So. Oh, you put those on. That's yeah, nice. I, did that, I was yeah. wondering. I was thinking the factory put that on. Yeah, people look at that and think, what's this guy doing? But uh, it's yeah, just my own, little, yeah, why my own not? little touch. Eh? Yeah, no, no. And, I, and, you know, as you know from my other car, I'm trailering a Cobra Jet car. Yeah. So yeah. I figured out oh, that's, that's, that's suitable. So tell me about this keyless entry. How does that work? You hit the bottom two buttons together and that locks your truck. Okay. And then there's a code. And you just and bang that in there? Yeah, you just bang the code in. Oh, nice. Do you need a key to start it? Yeah. You got to have it on you or in you? No, it's... it's it, it goes in? Yeah, it goes in, yeah. Okay, so it's a knife, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, it works out okay. I'm happy with it. I was tempted to trade it off on a, a new 20 because uh, it would have nav and a few other things in it, but I like this truck a lot, and it's all paid for, so you know. Yeah, well, that's a nice thing, yeah. I, I Car don't payments think I need are, to we go don't in a hole that. again, yeah. I like the new. wheels on especially, those are factory? Yeah, those are factory, I really like the wheels. I bought some other wheels for it for winter time if I do take it out, so these don't get all scabby looking, so I have another set of wheels and tires for it. Yeah, very nice truck though, Mike. Yeah, well, very thank nice you very truck. much. Beautiful color too, I love it. Well, thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7. So you've got a Mustang. What year have we got here? This is a... It's a 17 GT. 17 GT. Tell us yeah. a little bit about your car. Well, uh, there's quite a story uh, behind this car. Um, I wasn't going to buy another car until I retired. Anyway, my friend, uh, Mr. Beasley, we were at a car show um, oh, about yeah. a year ago. Darren, and yeah. he uh, said, you might want to have a look at this car. So okay. anyway... It was in Langenberg Motors, and it's a 17. Langenberg Motors, wow. Yeah. So okay. it sat on their lot for, oh, well over two years. This is a lot of car to be sitting around. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, apparently, uh, according to Mr. Beasley, um, it has every option you can get on a 17 GT. Okay, so what have we got for an engine in here? It's the five liter Coyote. Bio, yeah. Kai, oh, Coyote 5 liter. So yeah. what are we putting out for horsepower? What do they say? Um, I've beefed it up. It's stock 444. I'm probably at about 460 now. Oh, what have yeah. you done? What did well, you do? I put a, an X pipe underneath, cold air intake kit oh. and stuff like that. Let's so, pop the hood and see what sure. it looks like underneath there. What what kind of wheels are you running there? Trilly, uh, performance tire. It's on it. Okay. Pirellis. Pirellis, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at all that going on. Beautiful. Is this a factory air filter off that? Is that? No, that's a Ford uh, racing uh, cold air kit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's not a Roush, or is it just one of their racing? I uh, say well, just... Ford Ford Performance. Ford it's, Performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a gorgeous car. Gorgeous car. Let's have a look inside the interior. What do you got inside there? Well, it's got the Recaro racing seats. Oh, you got the uh, Recaro seats. Yeah. Does that come from factory like that? That's factory like that, yeah. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Just look at the stitching on those seats, huh? Yeah, the yellow stitching really makes the interior kind of pop and that. So. And what have we got for a transmission in there? That's a six-speed. Six-speed uh, standard? Yeah. Oh, okay. And three speeds backwards? No, <laughs> no, just, yeah, just, just one backwards. <laughs> well, you gotta have six, four, and three yeah, back. I mean, totally. It could be yeah, I love the yeah. the back on the window there, that yeah. the shield the and all that, and the spoiler. Side louvers, rear window louver, 
I put on, and then that isn't um, a factory uh, spoiler. No, it, it's uh, the Ford, a Ford one, but it's not not the factory oh, it fits one. In well, I, I just liked it's... it a little better than than the Ford uh, factory spoilers. Yeah, it's very matches it. Really yeah. sets the car off. And what's the color called again? Triple yellow. Triple yellow. Triple yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I always have to ask what the color is. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it, you don't get the answer yeah. that you're hoping yeah. for, yeah. but a lot of times it's like, really? Yeah. Triple, Triple yellow. yellow, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Well, good for you. Uh, good Thank for you. good for yeah. Darren. And uh, you took uh, you took the load off the Langenberg. Well, I, I did. Yeah. They were they were probably glad to get rid of it. You know? so. <laughs> well, this is a lot of car. Holy yeah. smokes! Yeah. Beautiful yeah. car. So we're here with William Sandbeck, and you've got a 19. 69, 69 Ford Mustang Fastback. It's, Gee, got the it's 3 almost got the Eleanor kind of flavor to it a little bit. Yeah, huh? yeah. Beautiful. Well, uh, all the canisters and stuff were all uh, homemade. Oh, uh, really? What do you mean by that? Canisters like the cooling well, ones? Well, well, there's the vacuum. Okay. There's the uh, the rad overflow. Oh, okay. And then all the brackets here are all homemade. You made them yourself? No, uh, a buddy of mine there that I bought the car off, Greg Flanzer. Okay. Uh, he lives out in White City there, and uh, uh, he painted the car about 20 some odd years ago, and I had it for about 16. When I got it, it had 500 miles on it. 500 miles? Yeah, uh, they rebuilt it. The engine's out of a 72, and uh, uh, ABS built the engine and tranny, and then Greg did all the body work. And then I did the whole suspension underneath. What did you do underneath there? What did well, you... everything. She was she was just put up on blocks. She was stripped. Okay. And then everything is all brand new underneath. So what are you, what are you using? Like Ford's Ford parts? Oh yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ford parts. Okay. And then I used to have a Holly on here, but it was acting up, so uh, I bought a uh, Edelbrock from one of the guys in the club. Okay. And uh, it runs great. You got a lot of chrome going on there too. Uh, I love a little that. bit. Gee, even the springs for the hood are chromed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Well, over the years, I had about uh And you've had 12, the car for 15 years? Did 16, 16, 16 years. years. And you bought it from another gentleman yeah, yeah, here yeah, in Greg. Regina here? No, no, he lived out in White City. Oh, White City, that's right. And he yeah. came by one summer when he was walking the kids and dogs and asked me if I wanted to buy another Mustang. Wow. How many Mustangs do you have? I got uh, three Mustangs and a Thunderbird. And I, through my years, I went through and I had... Uh, over 14 that I had and sold, and uh, so right currently this is the only four. No, nope, nope, I got three more. Three, <laughs> three more. What else have you got? Tell us what uh, you got. Boss 302. Okay. Uh, 70 Mach 1. Ah. And then I got a 65 Thunderbird. So do you have air in this car? Uh, two windows down, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. And and then it's got the little vents on there, but but it actually you know blows a little warm air from the engine. Yeah, yeah, and, I remember uh, that. I remember. But she usually runs around 180, and uh, oh. well today she's running about 185, 190. Yeah, well it's a hot so, day today here. So, yeah. but otherwise than that, no, the car's been good. Um, Let's have a look inside here. See what we got in there. Go ahead. Well, basically the uh, the seats and stuff are basically stock except for the. Uh, Crack her open there and we'll have a look ski. Let let uh, Patrick get in there and have a look. Yeah, there we are. We don't want to hit your door, but it's it, good. It's, it's got the fuel and the temperature gauge because you can't always uh, rely mm -hmm. on the uh, on the factory gauges. Mm -hmm. But basically the rest of the interior is uh, is stock. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and then there's a, 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 a add-on tack. Okay. So what do you got for wheels there too? Black ones. No, but your your rims and all <laughs> black ones, yeah. Uh, uh, they're just Greg. Uh, Greg uh, that's the ones that came with them. Okay, nice. And, uh, yeah, and, good. Uh, I love this uh, special air venting. Does that actually function? No, no. Uh, the 69, sort of a Shelbyish kind uh, of thing. Uh, the sixty nines have have the vents there, and the different marker lights, and it's got the double uh, uh, the four the four headlights up on front. Okay. And then the tail lights they extrude for the sixty nine for the seventy they intrude and the 70 that does not have the vents and the marker light is going this way okay and they only have two two things. what about the louvers at the back here is this uh, uh, those are factory those are factory yeah and the spoiler and a spoiler and then you can also get a spoiler for the front which i do not have oh okay and, uh, okay and uh the uh the louvers lift up so you can clean the windows oh that's nice yeah and yeah. uh it, ke it keeps a uh, little bit of the heat out 
Yeah, well, that's and good. That. But uh, she's been a good, reliable car so far. And uh, the paint job that uh, Greg did on it is super, except for... Well, there's people that come along, I know. Uh, I did that. You did? Oh, belt buckle or what? <coughs> Rotor tiller. <laughs> Rotor tiller. Oh no. In my in my in my garage. I can remember I had a '56 Chevy and I got it freshly painted. And my kid went into the garage with his bicycle and. Well, that's what happened. Uh, the handle, uh, the the rubber wore off a little bit. That's that, exactly what he. That's, oh. in, that's exactly what happened. Oh, we had a moment or two, but then I then I settled down. I said, ah, it's just a car, so, you know, whatever uh, it is. <laughs> but no, uh, you know we just try to enjoy things with other club members and other members uh, from other clubs but uh, but this year it's been slow because yeah. of the COVID but yeah no. but you still have to get out no absolutely, uh, absolutely. You, you just you got to use common sense no fantastic well thanks for joining us on cruising on seven okay take care